Welcome to LV Craft Shows, thanking you for making us a Best of Las Vegas winner. We work hard to bring you the best vendors and products. We present craft shows, night markets, festivals, specialty events, supporting crafters, artists, and small businesses. Our wide variety of unique and well-curated events will offer something for everyone, whether you like shopping for unique gifts, take out your family, make it a day or night out with friends, enjoy some food and entertainment, need a girl's night out, or maybe a mini trip to the mountains to escape the heat, LV Craft Shows has got it all for you. Here at the Aliante Hotel, Casino and Spa, and it is one of our indoor venues when we're not outside. I'm when we do the indoor, indoor venues, we also do drawings, hourly drawings, big prize drawings, and a majority of our vendors and artists, they donate prizes. It's free drawings, everybody gets a free ticket. If they want extra tickets, they can make a donation to our rescue, search rescue ranges. So here are just some of them, some were already won today, but we we do this here, we do this at Silverton, we do this at the Pass Casino and uh, Santa Fe Station. So any indoor events, we do these drawings usually. And um, we have lots of outdoor events too, like at Tivoli. And we have World Market Center, that's our three-day show usually. So, and many more. So for information, go to lvcraftshows.com to find out where we'll be next, because we have something going on pretty much every weekend. I am here with Harriet from Spirit of Love, Melikaliki Maka. Hawale Makahiki Ho. She's from Hawaii. So Harriet makes all these amazing dolls. Harriet, tell us a little bit about why you make these. Oh, for one, right here in the different colors, these are all the eight islands. Every island has a different color. And I've got my military. Now once a year, June 12th in Hawaii, we have King Kamehameha Parade. And the military leads the parade. Then our eight islands on horseback come second. And I, I started making them because I want to keep my culture alive. And we've got our hula dancers, and our, these are our eight islands, and I've got holocus. These were used to perform in front of the queen. When they were done performing, they would take their train, just like a wedding gown, and put it on their wrist. Now the holoku can never be worn again. I think it's really amazing. And during COVID, she made these, the nurses yes. and doctors with the masks. And so do you have one for the ninth island? I, As Las Vegas is the ninth island? i sorry, Susie. I sold her this morning. I think but she has a Golden Knights one too from time I to sure time. I sure do. Lots of aloha here. And thank you so much. Much mahalo and melikaliki maka. Kaoli maka hiki ho. Do you make a great product you want to share with the world? Maybe you should become part of the LV Craft Shows vendor family. Let's get you in front of our shoppers. LV Craft Shows averages 1,500 plus shoppers at one day events, 3,000 plus at night markets, and six to 8,000 at our three day events. LV Craft Shows goes above and beyond to have well organized events, excellent timely communication, extensive ad campaigns, and will treat vendors and guests with respect. Reach out now to info at lvcraftshows.com or you can check our website lvcraftshows.com then click on vendor information. I am here with Desiree and John from Wooten Handcrafted and they make beautiful cutting boards, pens and a lot more. So tell us a little bit about what you do and why. Uh, we love to create unique personal gifts. Um, that's something that we like to give is a gift that actually means something to somebody that's special. Um, so we customize our boards, we do laser engraving, we can pretty much put anything you can think of. It's very popular for wedding gifts, um, retirement, graduations, things like that. And then we try to specialize in things you don't find everywhere else. So we have something called a Santa's Compass. That's a very popular item um, that everybody really enjoys to give. It's a great gift for a family. Um, 
My husband does all the woodworking. I do the designs and laser engraving. We can also personalize our pens. Um, he hand turns wood and acrylic pens. We can put names, logos, etc. on that. Um, we have an ugly sweater ornament that's a very popular one. Each one's a little bit different, unique. We can also put names on those. Um, we can personalize pretty much anything to make it something special um, as a gift that you would want to give to somebody. So. It sounds wonderful and you can find Wooden Handcrafted at several of our shows and on the contact information given on the screen. So I am here with Troy and Debbie from Jones and & Company and they make some really unique leather items. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you make and why? Yeah, so um, we're really happy to find a home here with Las Vegas craft shows because it's kind of a hobby gone bad and it turned into a business and um, people really like our products and we really try to bring quality products using some of the top of the line leathers and some of the stitching methods and the products that we use in creating our leather so that we get longevity of use as well as that the person who is purchasing the, the product gets pleasure and has a good experience with it. I think that sounds really cool and if you see on their table they have all kinds of things and they keep adding on and you will see them at many of our upcoming shows this year. I am here with Maurice and Renee from TR & Co. And Renee makes amazing paper art, but also jewelry. But I want to talk about the paper art today. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? What's well, special and unique about it? What made her want to do this? This is called quilling. Uh, Renee has been like doing all different types of art since she was a child. But she, she got into this uh, pretty recently. And uh, quilling is an old uh, paper art and uh, she got really good at it really quick. So she's, uh, she does uh, like a uh, cactus and uh, I'll show you some of her art, like this right here. Oops. This, is, uh, this is her mermaid and the background is uh, done with uh, uh, watercolor. So she has uh, all different types of pieces. She also has another blue moon. Only once in a while they come. The butterfly, she has a hummingbird. And the list Her literally goes on. She also does amazing jewelry. And by the way, the earrings that I'm wearing today are made by Renee. And you can find them at our shows. I'm here with Patrick from Aloha Specialties. Patrick, you have all these amazing Hawaiian goodies. Tell us about it. So yeah, so we're, I'm born and raised in Hawaii. Uh, we've been around all this delicious Hawaiian uh, gourmet products. I uh, grew up with it. So I was like, you know, we just decided to you know, come up to the mainland and just share it with all the people up here. Just things they can't just find in regular stores, you know. We have like Hawaiian style sauces, jams, jellies and snacks. Just things that are unique and different. You know, to everyone. You definitely have to come check him out. He's at almost all of our shows coming up, so please be sure to stop by. Thank you. I'm here with Cindy from Mount Charleston Zen, and Cindy has a wide variety of crystals and rocks and jewelry. You actually started as a candle vendor with me, and then you transformed into all this. Tell us about it. So I've been a crystal collector for quite a few years. And I started putting, uh, I learned how to make candles and I started putting the crystals in the candles. And then I just started adding to the collection and it has grown into a very successful business here. And you make all these bracelets yourself, right? Yes. And all the crochet uh, um, items? Yes, I do. This is really, really an amazing collection. She will also tell you what each rock means or does. So if you need a little bit more happiness, more good health, fortune, what other things right. do we need? A lot of people are looking at this day and age for deflecting negativity. Deflecting so we have stones for that. Yep, yep, yes. yep, and exactly. then love is also right up there. So you have deflecting negativity and bringing love in as well. You can find Cindy at many of our events. Please be sure to come check her out. from Resinista Lisa and you're specializing in resin and things like that. Tell us yes. a little bit about what you make. Well, I started down the little rabbit hole on Instagram and saw this resin and I just thought it was amazing so I wanted to try it. 
and I started out with coasters and then the ocean is just so calming and amazing so I started working with that it's a little challenging but I absolutely love playing with resin. And Lisa comes up with all kinds of things. I mean, from charcuterie boards that look like turtles. Like she said, the ocean theme is just amazing. But she also makes little resin figurines and all kinds of things. You need to come out to our shows or to her page and check her out. Thanks so much, Susie. I'm here with Brenda and she does blankets and towels. And I think your favorite is making baby outfits knitting what inspired you to do this I learned to knit when I was in the fourth grade and I used to make things for the nieces and nephews and it just kept going from there you know and that is really cool I used to knit and crochet in school too and I loved it and I would start the back piece and then never finish it so I'm glad that you keep finishing it so you add things to towels too I see it's and the crocheted tops on the towels that, which is really, really unique and pretty. And you make all these blankets as yes. well. These are really super soft. Brenda is also a great supporter of our rescue. She always gives us some blankets for our animals that we have. To check her out, please come and see her at our shows. So I am here with Lily and Kelly from King's Square International. And they have two businesses actually. Um, Lily does a lot of hair clips and she does these cute little things. She makes them actually. And then Kelly, Kelly hand makes all these nails. And they also make cute little hair clips like that. So what inspired you to do this? I just love nails. Ever since I was uh, very young, I started doing my nail when I was in elementary school. My mom took me to the salon with her and I was waiting and she decided I should get one too. So I started at very young age and I just fall in love with it. And you know, her nails are super unique, very easy, all ages. And then all these hair clips that Lily has. So come and check her out. They do pretty much all of our shows. <laughs> holiday workshop right yes Did I say that right? you said it right <laughs> <laughs> and we're sitting here in a little living room at the Aliante Casino Brian what made you do this beautiful Santa everything I've been doing craft shows for 20 years 15 years on the East Coast five years here in Vegas and I ended up just having a whole bunch of lanterns and I had no clue what to do with them so I started playing around with it playing around, and this is what I came up with and they're really beautiful, they're unique. He also has other um, items for the holidays. He does beautiful diamond paintings. So we hope you come and check him out. Absolutely. I am here with Caché, with Caché Candle Company. And Caché makes these amazing uh, different candles here. Tell us a little bit how you make them and why you make them. Uh, these are hand blended, hand poured coconut and soy candles. Um, and my background is in chemistry. So I actually designed the candles um, to have a stronger scent. I opened one here and it's mint for me. I feel like I have a little mint in my mouth. You guys need to smell this. And where can you smell them? At our event with Caché right here. So here I am with Billy with jewelry by Claudia and you'll see Cla Claudia over there. She's actually the artist. Billy, you are probably the most passionate husband I have ever gotten to know about doing arts and crafts and in particular with Claudia's jewelry. Tell us a little bit about it. Well about 11 years ago she told me when we were in California, Billy, I'm going to start making jewelry and I said, oh great. And then we started looking at what she's making and it's gorgeous and she has such passion about making it and I have passion about sharing it with people. It's the greatest feeling that I have is seeing someone wear something that my wife made and I kind of joke and tell people she's the talent and I'm the mouth and that seems to be a pretty good team <laughs> for the past 11 years. 
That is very true. I have met that. <laughs> <laughs> and Julie makes beautiful necklaces, earrings, bracelets from beautiful stones. Anything in particular you want to mention about this piece? Well, this is actually turquoise and red coral, and Claudia is full-blooded Navajo, and in her culture, turquoise is very, very sacred. It's a protective stone, a very powerful stone, and she, uh, she always tells me, Billy, don't rush me, especially on turquoise, because she has to feel it, and it comes through in her art. And, you know, just look at the incredible pieces that she makes, and it's beautiful, and I'm her biggest fan as I should be. <laughs> Everybody should be. It is gorgeous jewelry and you can see Billy and Claudia at many of our events. Do you make a great product you want to share with the world? Maybe you should become part of the LV Craft Show's vendor family. Let's get you in front of our shoppers. LV Craft Show's averages 1,500 plus shoppers at one day events, 3,000 plus at night markets, and six to 8,000 at our three day events. LV Craft Shows goes above and beyond to have well-organized events, excellent timely communication, extensive ad campaigns, and will treat vendors and guests with respect. Reach out now to info at lvcraftshows.com, or you can check our website lvcraftshows.com, then click on vendor information. Hello, I'm here with Irene from Irene's Gift For You, and Irene makes something really unique. She's making these beautiful lanterns for all occasions. What made and what inspired you to make these? Well, honestly, I bought a set of lanterns and I made one of the wine ones for my own kitchen. And my husband said, why don't you do that as your crafts? Because I was doing other things. And so I started that and it exploded into everything from Christmas to Vegas Golden Nights to traditional wine to Hanukkah. So whatever you dream, I could make it. And you do custom work as well, right? Absolutely, yes, because there's something for everyone. All of the lanterns light up with battery-operated lights, so whatever you want, I can put into a lantern. And she's a very, very busy businesswoman, so to catch her at our shows, be sure that you check out lvcraftshows.com. Thank you. So I'm here with Joe and... Debbie. Debbie from Gems, Rocks and Fossils. Tell us a little bit about what you do and why. Well, I've been absolutely crazy about dinosaurs since I was three years old. So I go on digs twice a year out in uh, South Dakota and Wyoming. Oh, wow. And uh, I bring, uh, we bring affordable fossils and, and gems and stuff to kids because they love fossils. And so it's really unique to be in a show and be able to show dinosaur bones. And especially since some of our shows have dinosaurs on site, that must be super exciting for you, Well, right? it's real exciting to see that dino come straight, walking down the hallway just a little while ago, and the kids were going crazy, so it's great. I sent them especially for you. <laughs> I know and you can find Joe and Debbie at several of our shows. <laughs> from Island Girls Design and Marlene does very unique art and please tell us what are you doing? Um, so I take old books that people have um, discarded for whatever reason and make them into new art pieces to remind them kind of the value of of what books really are and to kind of keep those out of the environment. Um, so you'll see a lot of different things. Uh, the Grinch, for example, old maps here, um, just anything that I can find. I just like to turn it into something new again um, to give it new life. And you also take like old cabinets and doors and stuff that you repaint or yes. I don't know what you call that, but... That's correct. So uh, all of the pieces are set on old uh, cabinet doors. Like you can see the framing in this particular piece or even in the Grinch here or cathedral window frames, which you recognize or just old fence board, which is what is the backing for this particular piece. So there are a lot more components than just the book. There's just lots of 
pieces and you'll see several that have old jewelry pieces um, pretty much anything that people are throwing away I like to play with and make something else with <laughs> It's just really, really unique, and she actually won the most unique award with us. So please come and see Marlene at our shows. LV Craft Shows thanks you for making us a Best of Las Vegas winner. We work hard to bring you the best vendors and products. We appreciate your time and for joining us for fun and some great shopping. We will continue to bring you the best throughout 2024. You can always reach out to us at lvcraftshows.com or on any of our social media platforms. Thanks again for giving us the best gift. Check out our calendar of events, lvcraftshows.com. I'm here with Sky from Sky's Design, and Sky is actually from Hawaii, and she makes beautiful Hawaiian art, ornaments, jewelry, and more. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? Uh, I hand make jewelry, and we hand make ornaments for your tree if you want that island feel. Um, I also make island baskets that are filled with crystals and shells. Um, I have Tahitian pearls, Akoya pearls, Edison pearls in all different styles, and everything is gold filled or sterling silver. What made you want to do this? I started this company actually for my son, who has Down syndrome. He is four now, and we want to plan for when he's an adult and he wants to do something, we want to say, we plan for that. I also would like everyone to know that if you are a caregiver or if you have a disability of any kind, stop by and I'd like to give you a free gift. I'm here with Cynthia from CJ's Creative Crafts and Florals and she does mixed media art. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? Thank you, Susie. Well, we do a mixture of textures. Um, we've got a number of things where we use resin, I've got crushed stones, decoupage, and what makes it mixed media is that we're using a number of different um, products. We use clay, we use uh, resin. I love resin, it's very flexible. These are some of our uh, notebook journals, they're sketchbooks. They come with a pen and they're finished on the front and the back. I do all of the resin pours and painting myself. Here's another example of a mixed media. We've got decoupage. There's resin, um, painting. Most of our products do come with lights, and the lights are battery operated. So this is the off and then on. Batteries are on the back, AA batteries, and they do come with a stand. So I'm here with Majestic Gourds, and it's a woman-owned business by Jerry. And they make amazing, actually, Jerry is the one making amazing gourds. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, we get the gourds from Southern California from a gourd farm. It's like over 300 acres out there. My wife takes them from the beginning right to the farm and takes them, cleans them, uh, cuts them, designs them. All of these are her designs. Which is really awesome because you can get them for every season, whether it's Halloween, fall, holidays, or a special custom design as well, right? You can find Majestic Gourds at several of our events. I'm here with Rich from Vaz Creations, and Rich and his wife are making... Charcuterie boards, cheese boards, and cutting boards. We use as many, all natural material. Everything is food safe that we use it. Uh, we've had people tell us that they're too pretty to actually use, but what we tell them is everything here is fully functional, nothing is decorative. So if you've got a nice cutting board and you want to use it as a cutting board, you flip it over and use the back side. And then you turn it back over and you got something to serve on, so it basically serves two, for, two purposes. We try to be a little unique from everybody else, so Marley will also make coasters and find little knot cheese knives to go along with it. So we have something that is it's really unique to you and every, everything is one of a kind. We even have black walnut and anytime we have a crack in it, we fill it with turquoise. So, I think that is so cool that you can just flip that around. You guys are just amazing and lots of colors, custom work, anything you need. So please come and check them out. I am here with Michelle from Luna Energy Candles and they are not just regular candles. Michelle actually makes them with a reason behind it. Why don't you tell us about that? So all of my candles are made by the phase of the moon with an intention. So every candle has a sticker on it to tell you what phase of the moon we're in when I made it that evening and that's the affirmation to think of while you burn. All of my crystals are charged under the full moon, my flowers as well. 
and I try to match a little personality with each candle with the scent that it gives off. You can find Michelle at several of our upcoming events and at, on our Instagram given on the screen. Do you make a great product you want to share with the world? Maybe you should become part of the LV Craft Show's vendor family. Let's get you in front of our shoppers. LV Craft Shows averages 1,500 plus shoppers at one day events, 3,000 plus at night markets, and six to 8,000 at our three day events. LV Craft Shows goes above and beyond to have well organized events, excellent timely communication, extensive ad campaigns, and will treat vendors and guests with respect. Reach out now to info at lvcraftshows.com or you can check our website lvcraftshows.com then click on vendor information. Hi, I'm here with Bonita with Southwest Innate Jewelry and Pottery and she does Nahabuto style jewelry. So why don't you tell us about it? So um, how it originated um, with, I do carry a lot of different artists' work as long uh, with my own that I make and what um, I learned how to do growing up. But we have um, a lot of different artists on the Navajo Reservation. Some that are silversmiths, some that are hand carvers, and of course some that have um, the potters out there and they all have their own unique designs that they do. And then also what I do is um, mostly like hand strung items, working with the different gemstones like this. And then um, the necklaces on that end I do. So, so it's just a majority of different. There is a lot of selection for you, whether it's jewelry, home decor, dream catchers, you name it. And you can find Bonita in several other of our shows. I am here with Leticia from Customizable Surfaces and Leticia started with us quite a while ago with just a booth and tumblers and then developed all this and they do tumblers, they do bags, they do shirts, they do totes, you name it, they can customize it. So what made you want to do this? Oh, my, for my kids. I told my kids that when they graduated from high school that I would start a business for them and with them and so we started this with my daughter. She's now 21. Uh, this is her gift. I told her at 25 she takes it over. So, you know, kind of start her up and get her own business. And what's so fun about it is that, like I said, she started with a tabletop and then into a booth. And now you can actually walk inside the trailer. And you'll see more of that in a little bit. But you can see Leticia, her husband, and her family at many of our events. I am here with Teresa from Land to Sea. She is one of our artists and vendors. And Teresa, so you love crystals. You love working with crystals. Very much so. I hear that bracelets was one of your first items you made. It was. It was my first item to try. I started out with just a few types and then moved into um, different types that are a little harder to find as I was learning more about them. I think it's really wonderful. I mean, you know crystals, they do a lot of good things for you if you need a little pick-me-up, a little away from negativity, a little health, good health and uh, money and all that. You need certain crystals. You also make these. This can't be really easy. That's pretty cool. No, the, the rose is really hard to do. Um, it's really intricate and, and takes a lot of skill to carve. It makes a great little bouquet for Valentine's Day, right? And it's a forever rose, so forever roses. So that is Teresa with Land to See and you can find her at several of our events. Mm -hmm.